yes guys we are finally back again for another reaction on this year channel miss telix reaction guys don't forget if you have not done so guys definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification if you have not done so guys and of course do what click the thumbs up button i would appreciate that right there and then guys click the thumbs up button of course thanks for definitely tuning in to another vibrations on this year mr Lix reaction guys i do appreciate you guys like i said it before and of course with that said guys let us get into the vibrations for today right there and then now brothers and sisters i saw this video like about two or three days ago i think a number of individuals actually sent me this video and apparently there's two girls involved in this situation right there anyways i call so it seems like there's a girl dressed in uniform and she's been taken by some fat, some overwhelmed, overweight. Brothers and sisters, before I continue, um, when, it, when it comes down to police officers, should police officers, I mean, Let me just leave that alone you know you would think police officers need to exercise so they can chase people around <laughs> maybe i don't know but um apparently this this one is probably in probably in, in administrative roles he's probably the pro police pro probably the public speaker he probably speaks in the public anyways brothers and sisters let's continue <laughs> Anyways, okay. I so apparently there was a first one, one dressed in uniform, looked like a school individual, and the other one Anyways, I call doesn't look like she dressed in school uniform at all. But who's that camera person? I mean, is that me? Guys, let me see if we can flip that a little to see if that'll work. Flip that for me, please. All right. I really cannot tell you. Okay, so that angle is a bit better. Anyways, like, and there's a, another. I guess this is an officer. Not that size bigger than the other one, but maybe they can run, brothers. I don't know. Maybe they are NFL quarterbacks. Maybe these are NFL quarterback people. Quarterback people are brothers and sisters. I don't think nylon clothes good for you, but anyways, let's continue. So, anyways, this. I just get inside tracked brothers and sisters. This little person being taken into custody as well as this person right there. So I'm guessing why they are why are they? Is it cattle no boy? I don't like myself. Why do you have the girl? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Eh? Vernon says some maybe the person knew Vernon says your mother or something or your relative or your cousin your friend maybe your lawyer I don't know but apparently she's saying that I have nothing to do with her she not gonna hit you well that's most likely your mother if your mother your mother will give you enough blues yet your, your mother well your daddy your daddy give blues neither your daddy probably not there so you, you probably didn't get no blues that's probably why you say that well, if she not going to eat you, matter of fact, you going inside there, there's a reason why she doesn't eat you. I mean, matter of fact, look at where you go in. Not true. I heard that there was some squabble that took place. Anyways, from reports I'm getting, guys, this one pretty much stood out. It says these two girls fight with my daughter on the opening, I guess the opening of Carnival. And, made a, and then she said that she made a report and they got arrested to deal with the situation. And they disrespected the police yesterday even decided to fight with one of them you know one of the police officers while they were being arrested while being addressed or arrested whichever it is brothers and sisters so maybe um these two girls uh, maybe but i've seen one in uniform and one not in uniform maybe they were fighting somebody because I don't think they will be take if it's these two, maybe they, these two will fight in each other. I don't know. They will fight in somebody. Gasa, why? Ladies not supposed to be fighting. Where the lovers? Where the lovers and the fight? Where the lovers and the brothers? The lovers again. <laughs> I don't see why <laughs> Hey. Hey, brothers and sisters, is really something else here. Eh? But hey, it is what it is. Ladies, stop fighting now. Stop fighting the man. All the problem the economy giving. All you fighting for what reason? 
Long I don't see fellas fight. Maybe them fellas fighting are not been, been filmed. But I see, I've seen a few, 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 few ladies fighting for what reason? Where are the lovers? Hmm. I guess they're probably checking you since after that video come out. The video if um was that Kiwana in prison, they had two girls inside there, then girls probably checking, hey, let's see if we can fill up that side. We probably can get some pork, free housing. We're going to free up ourselves, watch TV. We can probably cook when we want and all sorts of things of that sort. Maybe, I don't know. I just say in brothers and sisters, maybe they saw that video and were motivated to want to go inside there, which I don't think was the purpose of the video in the first place. But it seems like based on what people were saying in the video, everybody was seeing like they enjoying themselves inside there. And they enjoying themselves in Hollywood, according to what we saw. So maybe these girls realize, you know what, guys, outside they had them girls inside there. Two girls alone, what? Let me go inside there. I don't know if that is what they were thinking. But brothers and sisters, please stop the fighting now. Stop. I mean, there's a time to fight. Don't get me wrong. You know, there's always a time to do so. But it seems like when there's a time to do so, everybody wants to talk. Every blood, just does blood. Blah, blah, blah. Just talking, brothers and sisters. Talking, talking, talking. As if they eat some of the power that they send go to, to wherever they, where they, power, they send them parts go, brothers and sisters. But anyways, let's continue along that journey right there, brothers and sisters. Anyways, so I got this video as well. Hmm. $30 for what? Fish, rice, spinach. Some provision, really? Thirty dollars, easy dollars, or oh, yen? Yeah, not there, huh? Chinese currency? How you paying thirty dollars for that? What the fish? Let's say the fish is fifteen dollars. The fish, because that looking like it's a full small fish that there. Let's say the fish is fifteen dollars, brothers and sisters, right? The rice is five dollars. This is five dollars. This is five dollars. And you mean to tell me you get in a pack of rice for less than five dollars? You getting that for less than five dollars, so in the boy, you know, and you giving piece pieces of the thing to people. Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> why you why you have to pay thirty dollars for that? That whole thing there should be like what fifteen dollars maximum. It's not even a big plate that there. Is a big plate now? Oh look, if it's, maybe it's a, 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 a I don't know if it's a half half, but the fish over there might waste on rice. So why is that spinach or whatever that there and, and and provision and that whole thing cost thirty dollars uh all you all you let all you them bus driver man uh all you just charging people excess so. <laughs> boy that is forty dollars what are they for forty dollars there oh look these are cucumbers we trying to see how we can make that thirty dollars there but i try my best to help the people that sell that to see if it's really true look so cucumbers there for five dollars Burn and sisters, I just get some big cucumbers, three or four of them, for five dollars. And look, they have cucumbers there for five dollars. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and the fish, the fish is say, say ten dollars. Really? Why? Why people just do this thing there for? Why? Well, I know why. Because you know, much sale doesn't happen. So when much sale doesn't happen, you know what happens? They try their best to see if they can capitalize with the, the little limited amount that, that they're selling. That's you what stock one. people does do, you know. We're going fish man in Dominica. Apparently. So they didn't give me 20 dollars. Fish scarce. So that come on. And that rice and provision, they have that little portion of rice and $10. that little provision, they have $5, dollars, $5. Dollars. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> really? Brothers and sisters, why? Why? Why are we doing? Why? 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 It's not, food not scarce in Dominica. And that's kind of food scarce and you check in, okay, you want the people to really pay money for the thing, demand and supply. But you people come in and buy your food and that is $30. But then again, can you really blame them, brothers and sisters, when you see cabbage for $10 and, 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 and juice for $100? I mean, I mean, that Dominica there is special, boy. Why are we taking food on people who are in Dominica? Everybody taking their food, boy. Well, there's a reason why that is, you know, there's cause and effect. When the economy is not doing well, people always try their best to see how they can squeeze a little money extra. For example, I know that there's this particular business and they know that I know this, so they just they stop that. They used to try to do me that before, but they stop. So anytime you're not sure of a price or something, they increase in the price by a dollar on you. Yeah. 
and, and when you're not sure of a price brand sisters they put in a dollar on it or sometimes they'll put two dollars on it on for you me i was aware of this kind of thing so i always so when i remember the, the the first time that happened i remember seeing the price tags and stuff and i also keep in mind of other people that are paid for for things there as well so when i asked her i say oh, uh, uh, but that person pay five dollars and then she say oh what you what is uh, oh yes yeah that's true that's fine it's, 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 it's. <laughs> you have to be smart with people sometimes when you don't know they're trying to upscale the price so they can make a little extra money on you brothers and sisters you have to be wise in this kind of things that things hard for everybody things hard for everybody brothers and sisters but they wouldn't care once they can make a little extra money on you they would mind making a little extra dollars but that cannot be 30 dollars the fish going to give you superpowers man well you can never even get my money again in another mode look tell me that's 40 dollars huh that is 40 dollars what are they for 40 dollars there but then again kenny you're supporting the very government that causing this to happen when they quiver in the economy what do you think is gonna happen to other people they're quivering the economy, therefore people have to try to find the best way or they can push monies here and there. Especially if people, they didn't have the little monies to them. Probably that would cost $20 to a normal person and then they see you and they say, Oh, man, let me, let's charge him an extra dollar here and there. He does make money from here. Where, wherever he making money from? So maybe that's what they do, did you? But that could never. If I buy him that and you tell me $30 for that, I give him back your I give you back your food. Yeah, boy. I going back in KFC instead. <laughs> you mad? The onions that cost all that, man. The onions, the onions, man. The design, probably the de design, the design that cost all that to be thirty dollars, man. So then they made twenty dollars for kawang and that rice and provision. They that little portion of rice and that little Gassa. provision. They five dollars, five dollars. That's why you have to eat all the bone in that too. All the calcium, the protein from the sun, the fish get. Yes, man. Huh? Vitamin D, brothers and sisters. <laughs> well, the plate is eatable. <laughs> the plate. <laughs> no one about biodegradable plates. No, sir. The plate is eatable. Why are we taking food on people? The plate is vitamin K. Everybody taking their food. Here. Yes, man. Yeah. Yes, man. Everybody taking their food here. Anyways, talking about taking food, brothers and sisters. That's another thing that we have to look at, brothers and sisters. People driving on the road. Okay? Now, this person sent me this clip of this individual. Right? Alright. I want you guys to observe. Be in observation mode today. So, you can see some of the debris falling down here. Now, normally, I thought they had to cover this thing right there but i'm saying maybe it's falling at the bottom of this thing don't you think you have to protect the other vehicles but and sisters the reason why i'm seeing this thing right there because i also notice that in certain parts and in a, uh, just before call you there's a little after you leave call you coming to Portsmouth there and you make a turn to go down there's a, a a bar area there just around that area brothers and sisters if you want a bike probably last week or this last Sunday, Sunday, Saturday, yes. Around that time, brothers and sisters, if you want a bike, you were bound to fall down on the road because there was a set of tarish on the road. A set of tarish on the road. I was driving, you know, brothers and sisters, and the car just drift. I say, oh, let me go back. Drift some more, brothers and sisters. There was dirt in the road. Yes, man. So when people have all these things, truck carrying, and they don't worry about you, you know. They don't worry about you. They don't worry about your safety. They're just doing things like that. You need to cover the thing. You need to ensure that thing doesn't fall down on the road and put people in danger, especially bikes, bikers. And when bikers end up in situations, now they're going to say, oh, the bikers the problem when they were starish in the road. I remember that happened to me on the bike already, you know, brothers and sisters. Leaving Dubla to go up the turn, to go up, go up um, Biosh. Leaving Dubla where there was nobody play. The, the, the game, the park there. Leaving that area, the bus stop. Coming in, brothers and sisters. I'm making the turn to go up, go up to go Rosu. Making that turn, brothers and sisters, there was tarish in the road. Tarish in the road, you know. And I'd start pulling up a, a, a little speed for me to go up the thing. When I see the tarish, brothers and sisters, I say, we both. I say, look, it, look, I there. Look. I just happened to go on this side. You see where the white line is, brothers and sisters? Thank God it wasn't raining, so I decided to wall ride. 
wall right i wall right the thing because of all the dude that was on the the the, the tarish that was on the road because if i was riding on that problem for me so that is one thing i see there brothers and sisters another thing i see in there is this you see all the thing that falling on there no i don't know if mr in a hurry and checking boy getting paid per 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 what do you call that per truck per per dump or whatever so he probably trying to his best to reach one place so he can go back and collect some more so he can get paid. Probably every load he getting paid so he in a hurry. My brother, if you have a set of weight on you, my brother, and your brakes give way. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. Yes, I. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I. Yes, I. No show. Okay, Papa. All right, then. Yes, I. More dirt on the road, you don't care. Alright. Alright, Papa. But you must take it easy on the road. If your brakes gives way now, you just jam into people, you can't you want to. Yes, Lord. Well. It has been working, man. It has been working. All you need to take it easy on the road. I don't know if all and three of them are going back. By the way, you know what I sent this for me? <laughs> I would I wouldn't say who sent it for me. But the person watching you, eh? They watching you. That is all I say. They say put this out there to make sure that these people are aware that this is not good to do. This is not good to do, brothers and sisters. And when you're carrying these kind of things, they need to have some sort of, you know, protection where the dirt doesn't fall on the road, the, the tarish doesn't fall on the road. That is endangering people's lives. And free trucks going full speed on the road. Boy, a little easy in that place, then. Uh? A little easy in that place, then. Uh? Now, if you, whoever driving this got fired now as a result of this thing. Is your do is your fault that dude your fault? Is that even your trucks in the first place? You just driving people vehicle like crazy. Why? Why? Take your time on the road and make sure you reach your destination safe for your safety and for others as well. What is the point of that? One trying to pass one, the other one trying to pass that one, that one self going speed. Brothers and sisters, I understand we're trying to reach our destination and so forth and so forth. But you have to be, be logical now. Be logical. What I see there doesn't make sense. See all that, boy. See all that. Uh, on the curve, okay, Papa. All right, where do you, where do you part where you're trying to over? Look, the other one. Why? Why? Take your time. Uh. And I, brothers, I see not falling on there. I just check. I just say, in hey, last boy, there should be some sort of protection there to prevent this thing from falling. And not only that, though, the amount of sand that falling as a result of the journey, wherever you guys go in, by the time you reach, at least probably, I wouldn't say all the sand will go, but a good portion amount would have would have left the vehicle. On the road, it's not paved. All you pave in the road, all you not blocking pothole in the road. Well, you don't, uh, put, 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 make the, put, put, put. It's not a racing competition. It's not a racing competition. Anyways, the pause that be a warning. You guys need to be careful on the road. That's who sent these videos for me to let you guys know you guys need to be careful on the road. You want your jobs? Hmm? 
some of all you i i just doesn't i doesn't and people give all you the chance for you to do things huh eh? They give only the chance to do things, to make a little money here and there. You know, things are hard in the economy. One of the best businesses you're going to have is the trucking business in Dominica. One of the most profitable is the trucking business in Dominica. Well, truckers complain, what complaining a, long, a lot, a lot. But it seems like there's a little work going on here and there. That's good. Don't stop trying to screw it up for yourself. <laughs> hey. Why are people trying to screw up their own job? By doing foolishness on the road. Especially if the vehicle is not your own. You are literally making things more difficult for bikers, for normal vehicles, for yourselves. Take your time on the road. You're going up the hill. Why are you going up with so much speed for? No, I sure if they're going down this flight, they're going to fly down the hill. Are you sure? Vehicle have to be airborne. Are you sure? Brothers and sisters, take it easy for me. You have a job. Don't screw up your job, please. I mean, sometimes it might be fun and what you want to take a little vep, I know. But take it easy for me, please. Safeguard your job, safeguard yourself, safeguard others as well. Anyways, guys, what are your thoughts on the different circumstances right there? This is not the first time. I also, I've also seen the garbage truck. The garbage truck, I say, no. yes, Lord, the garbage truck racing. You ever see the movie, the garbage truck have wings and fly? In Dominica, they make it. Well, probably not Dominica because Dominica don't benefit from it. But Dominica, they see garbage truck flying. Right? Yes, that's where they get the idea. They see garbage truck flying, making ding dong in Dominica. So they got to make a movie of garbage truck flying, brothers and sisters. Though the truck can fly. I know the boss could swim the other day in Jamaica. Well, the truck now can fly. <laughs> you know? Airborne, we going. Take it easy, brothers and sisters. Take it easy. On the road not just for yourselves but for others as well and the people who are accustomed to putting these things inside these trucks need to also pre make sure that the thing doesn't leak at the bottom it's not just saying oh, on top there you also need to cover these things so that the dust doesn't fly in vehicles you saw what dust was flying up there when you're going up the hill especially leaking down there you need to cover this thing and put something down there to block the thing from leaking because I'm sure this is not good for business when you 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 bring in the thing and and and, 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 and a good portion of the tarish is going. Somebody might say, I want a load of tarish. You bring in that thing there for them. When you leave, they, eh, probably 10, 10, 15 percent of the tarish go. That's not good for business either. Oh Lord help us. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in this regard right there. It's about Mr. Licks on this year, Mr. Licks reaction. And guys, give this video a thumbs up, smash. That thumbs up button right there, I would appreciate that. Or smash that, the, smash that like button, I would appreciate that right there. And then, guys, and of course, subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through. And with that said, guys, I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Remember, guys, be real, be positive.